Okay, hi everyone. So today's going to be another storing video. This will be um, all the cards that I got in February and March. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my A5 binders. I have actually changed around my A5 binders a little bit recently, and I will show you that in a minute. But I finally start get like I finally get to start my newer collections. This is my stack for this binder. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna start off with signature. So I am collecting Belle. Um, so I have all of her cards for uh, Dear Diary Moment. And then I also have the cards that I pulled that I'm actually just going to keep in here. I don't have any real desire to let go of them entirely just yet, so I'm not going to. Yeah, and I decided I guess I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. I guess I'll leave this here, but I'm going to put... This will actually be the spot for Val's like, ID card from Listen and Speak. I just... I know I'll, I'll probably end up with it, so there's no point in like acting like I won't, so... The first card I'm going to put is this, um, this is a pre-order card. This is Market Shop. I think I actually said it was Y Global, but it is Market Shop, I think. I don't know. I confuse myself somehow, but yeah, this one's just going to go here. And then I will put the rest of the album cards on this page. So based on the backs, yeah, these are Q and these are A. So I'll just do this one here. These are like literally the prettiest cards. I'm so happy to have them. Um, if you haven't kept up with my signature collecting adventures, um, I bought um, these three cards before I bought the album. And then I ended up pulling this card in the album. So that was really great and really easy. So that's um, Dear Diary Moment complete. I just have to work on Listen and Speak, which um, I haven't really attempted to trade any of my cards that I have yet, but... Um, I'll try and I'll definitely be keeping my eyes out for like to buy them so and I just need to put in a new four pocket just for the cards that I plan to keep so I have this chasel card this semi card and then this Celine card so um, I guess I'll put semi first because she's Q version and then you can put chasel and then Celine so yeah, I just, I don't really feel the need to let go of these cards just yet. I might eventually like try to sell them or whatever, but yeah, that's what I have for now for a signature. And now I'm going to go ahead and get into my hot issue collection. So this collection, I'm like really looking forward to just like getting everything in here. So yeah, these are the two album cards from Issue Maker, their debut. So this is just a selfie card. It's so pretty. So I'm going to put that one first. And then I'm going to put this one, which is a 3D card here. Um, I have some like pre-orders and fan signs and stuff coming, but I'm not entirely sure how many I have for Issue Maker versus Icons. So I'm just gonna skip these two places for now and I can, you know, add pages as need be. But um, now for Icons, actually no, I do have, this is also Issue Maker. So I guess I'll put this one here. I'll probably rearrange once I like get all of the ones that I have on the way, but for now, uh, she belongs there. And I think overall my um, collection for this will end up looking really nice. So yes, now we can move on to icons. So I'll be honest with you, I cannot find Yewan's like normal album cards for icons. So all I have is like literally just pre-orders, but I also have this album sticker as well. So this is like an album inclusion. So yeah, I guess um, I'm just gonna put it first since like, if I can't find her album cards, I'm not really going to worry about it much. And then I have this card, which is her K-Town For You pre-order, and it is the most beautiful card. It is what, like, made me want to collect her. So, yeah, very excited to have that one. And then this is Dear My Muse. So, yeah. And then, again, I will have more Icons pre-orders and fan signs. So, again, I'll just add pages as, as needed. I guess I have a few extra in here. Um, and then the last card I'm going to put in here is this Yujung card from Laboom. Um, if you saw my Yokyo haul, you saw that I got Laboom's uh, Between Us. So I don't plan to like let go of this card, so I'm just going to keep it keep it in here. And yeah, so that's that. A really good start on like a lot of the collections in here, and I'm really happy with that because I like I've been waiting on a lot of these things for a while, so I'm really happy with how everything in here looks. So yeah. And then here we have actually a new. A5 binder. I bought this with the intention of putting all of my extra NCT cards um, just because 
I recently rearranged my NCT collection and I didn't like how it was looking with all of these cards mixed in. So I gave myself one place to put like all of my extra NCT cards and um, it like doesn't matter what I collect at all. Like literally whatever I get and want to keep, it will go in here. So I have one card to put in here, but I do want to mention beforehand that I have actually um, like very loosely committed to collecting non-album for Yang Yang. And that's what this first page is for. I just have a few things on the way and I'm not collecting like super seriously non-album for him, but I, I love him first of all. And he has some of the cutest cards. His prices are also pretty reasonable, like for the most part. So all things considered, I kind of wanted to start collecting like a little bit of non-album for him. Like I'll just kind of be buying like my favorite cards. So that's what this is like reserved for. But moving on, uh, yeah, like, so I just put all of my extra things, so like all of the cards I collected from Neo Zone and the final round, and then the extra cards from R Resonance. So yeah, that's just all I have there. And then this is actually the card I'll be putting in. So this is Tail's favorite card. And I just really like this card. I pulled it so I would like to keep it. So yeah. And in the future, if I ever pull any cards that I want to keep, this is where they'll go. I'm just keeping everything kind of chronologically. And then I also added in like my non-album stuff for everyone. Like I just, I really did not care to have this in my main binder because I don't collect these kind of things anymore. So it also like helped with that. So yeah, and I, I have a little, little section for everyone. So yeah, that's that. Um, besides just putting one thing away in this, I kind of wanted to... Uh, let y'all know that it exists because um, you know, I do have plans for this binder. So yeah So now I'm just gonna grab whatever binder we're going through like my bigger binders now. We're gonna kind of go by random Okay, first binder is my UNB JBJ binder. I have Two things to put away in here. I think so I'll just go to those spots. So the first card I have to put away goes on this page and it is Kenta's uh, version of this card from Fantasy so I traded for that which is very fun. So now I'm just missing, I don't know, it might be, I might have this card in the way. I know I traded for a Hyunbin, but I don't know which version it is, but I do have a Hyunbin on the way for this, so that's fun. It very well could be this version, but I really have no idea. Then moving on, I have to go back here. I just have this Marco card here, so pretty close to finishing out this set. We'll see how it goes, but uh, it looks nice. Very happy. But that was it for this binder. So here is NCT. Um, I actually do have quite a few things to put away here. So um, let's see. First thing goes on this page. So I have Hei Chan's sticker cards to kind of complete sticker, I guess. So it did take a while, but sticker is completely finished now. I had a lot of momentum going when sticker first came out, but. Um, when it came down to it, I didn't really feel like buying these last two cards, but I finally kind of just did it. Then we have this card here, which is Taeyong's card. Super pretty. I love this card so much, and I'm really happy to have this finished now. And then next, I have a Universe card to put away, but it is, okay, Jeno's last card. So yeah, this is Jeno's photo book card. Again, one of the, one of the cards I'm really happy to have. So yeah, I love it. I, I think I need to rearrange my Geno section, but we're not going to worry about that now. And then I just need to go back to my Mark section. So the first card I have for Mark is We Go Up. So yeah, finally have something to go on the first page. Although I think I might have to reconsider collecting literally everything for Mark. I don't know, some cards are just too expensive for me. And even if I have the money, it's kind of hard for me to justify spending so much on one singular card. So um, we'll see how that goes, but I won't make any decisions on that now. But uh, next card I have is Superhuman. So there is that. I love this card. And yeah, this page has a little more going, a little bit more going to it now. So that's nice. This Mark collection is definitely going to be slow. Um, I, of course, have glitch mode on the way. So yeah, I'm excited to work on collecting that. But oh, I forgot. I have one more thing. Um, so I have... Um, I have Mark's ID for Super 1. I have one of them at least, so I have the orange one. And I'm going to stick this here. 
I don't have any plans to get any of these anytime soon, but I figured I'd just keep these with like the other IDs just because. I really like the way I had it when it was like a full nine pocket, so I'd like to recreate that eventually one day. So yeah. But then next, um, I have the uh, like D icon photo cards to put away and that's gonna take me probably a while. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna time lapse me putting everything away. I don't know what these pages are doing back here, but I'm gonna take everything out. I'm also not sleeving these, at least not yet. They probably will be sleeved eventually, but I don't have enough sleeves, so we're just gonna go with it for now. Okay, so that was all of them. This will probably be rearranged and like fixed later, but uh, for now, this is everything. So, yeah. They all look really nice. I'm really happy to have them all. Uh, they take up quite a bit of space in the binder, but uh, this binder was like, I mean, it's not bursting, so yeah. But here is everything. Um, yeah, I'll probably rearrange these units. I wasn't really paying much attention when putting them in, but yeah, that was that for NCT. Okay, so here is also a new binder. I decided to give Brave Girls their own binder because I feel like this collection is probably gonna grow the most. I don't know, I feel like I have uh, binders for all my other alts, so I feel like Brave Girls should also have their own binder, especially considering, you know, we get to collect them again. So yeah, um, I have not very much to put away. So um, let me see. So I have one thing to put away for uh, thank you. I still have only gotten my first two albums, so there's definitely still work to be done. And I actually already posted about this on my community tab, so if you ha like if you haven't seen it, I actually won M like for the MMT video call for Brave Girls. So that's really exciting, also very nerve-wracking. I've never done a video call before, so I'm very nervous about it, but um, I will be talking to Brave Girls sometime. I have no idea when this video is going up, but probably before the fan sign. Um, yeah, I just have these two things to put, a put away, which were my first like two poles. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the photo cards away. So yeah, I just actually, by the way, I, I just bought four albums for the fan sign. Like I bought them for the photo cards, not expecting really anything. So that's like, I'm really surprised. It's been crazy, but yeah, there's that. And I'll have another set of pre-orders, so I'll probably rearrange this, but yeah, that was like all I had to put away for Brave Girls. Oh wait, no it's not. I lied. I have bigger inclusions. Um, Cause you know, with giving Brave Girls their own minor, I was able to put their uh, bigger inclusions with, you know, everything just because like I do technically collect Brave Girls big bigger inclusions. So first is postcards. So I just have Min Young and Inji. So yeah, I really hope my pulls for the rest of my Thank You albums are as good as they were for After We Ride. Cause I only had to trade literally two things to finish that set but yeah still waiting on albums some should be coming soon obviously I have to wait for the fan sign to get my MMT copies um and I think that's it I was gonna see I was hoping that the uh, standees would fit in the three pocket it looks like they might be too big yeah they're a little bit too big I'm gonna keep them here for now just because they fit or like they work I guess um, but I'll probably rearrange that eventually. But yeah, that was everything for Brave Girls. Okay, next binder. I've officially coined this one my non-alts because I called it that in like another video and I realized that Brave Girls was in this binder and Brave Girls is obviously an alt. But now it's officially my non-alts binder. So the only thing I have to put away here is the last card I have for Lisa. So this is her 
last how you like that card to finish the collection which is very exciting i also have this group card from how you like that i'm just going to stick this on the back here because i i don't know i don't really know what to do with it it's kind of just sitting around so i'm gonna stick it there but yeah that's literally my collection complete for blackpink lisa so that's really fun um hopefully like if we ever get to come back that would be great but yeah for now we're complete with lisa okay next we're doing twice um, so this binder is very, very big. I just kind of realized how heavy it is. It's kind of ridiculous. So first I need to go to What is Love. I have this Dewey card, which um, I'm really close to finishing this set. I had actually bought the Nyan card um, from Mercari Japan, but that order ended up getting canceled, uh, which is fine. But it just kind of leaves me with one more thing I need to buy, which is only slightly annoying. And then I need to go to Yes or Yes. So I have this Jungyun card, so pretty. This is probably one of my favorite Jungyun cards, maybe. <laughs> she has a lot of really pretty cards, but yeah, just missing two cards for this set now, which is really exciting. It's always really exciting when you get really close to finishing a set, but then you're also like not wanting to buy cards. It's an issue, I have at least. Um, last thing is non-album stuff. So the last thing I think this page is for that. It is their sixth anniversary Happy Twice in Wednesday March. I just have these two things here. I plan to get the rest of like the trading cards eventually, but I think for now I'm just gonna put the Polaroid in the middle and then the actual like photo card in the corner here. Um, obviously this will change as I get the other cards, but you know, this is what it looks like for now. And yeah, that was it for twice. Okay, officially the last binder I have is my obtention binder. And this is my stack of obtention things. So I have quite a few things to put away here. Um, but I first just need to go to connection. So let's, let's see what connection cards I have. So I have some Koyo. I have these two. So... Yeah, I think this is organized how I want it. I think his last card matches this one. So yeah, that's Kogyo almost done. No bits, so I do have one Sunyo. And that is this card. So again, just missing one Sunyo. And I believe that's everything for connection. Moving past connection. I'm literally going to be finishing my novella collection in this video. Like I have every single card that I need. So I'm slightly stunned, slightly. So I have the black backs first. I don't know which set I'm putting first though. So I'm going to put these ones first. I think I have these in the correct sets. If not, I'll fix it at a different time. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these in real quick. I was able to get all of these for really good prices like in sets on Mercari Japan. So, you know, thanks again to uh, Japanese Honey 10 for kind of saving me. Um, I don't know if this card goes on this page. Okay, I think this card would good, go better on this set. So, what do we think? What do we think? And then this one. Okay, second set. I really love how all these cards look. So... I'm very happy with how collecting this album went, like, for the most part. It wasn't too much of an issue, so, yeah. There's all of the black sets, and then the blue sets. So, again, I tried kind of my best to put these in, like, the correct sets, but I don't know exactly um, if it's right. I didn't look at a template or anything, so I guess we'll have to see. But I think these look fine together. I'm actually also gonna alternate here the seven pattern. Kogil's cards are so beautiful. But yeah, this set is more like white outfits. Super pretty. I love it. I love it. And then this set is just kind of the ones that didn't match the white outfits. So I'm assuming they go here. So yeah. Again, a very pretty set. So yes. And yeah, there's that, like literally all the album cards are finished. So that is amazing. Um, and then I do need to add a page for pre-orders. Okay, so I just have three pages. So I'm going to put the OT7 sets I have first. I have two sets here 
these are all from the same Japanese store so yeah I will have more OT7 sets I think two more OT7 sets but this is just what I have for now these were also really really cheap when I got them on Mercari Japan so that was really nice it was like the main reason I bought them otherwise you know I probably would have passed them up but yeah there's set one we have set two I love Gujin in his like closed eyes selfies. He's so cute. Okay, they're set two. And then the rest of the cards I have go on this page. They are um, Xiao Make Star cards. So, um, yeah, okay. I think I'm going to put this set first. I'm gonna put this one in the middle because it is the cutest. He's so cute. I guess I'll put this one first. Um, and then this one second. And then we have this set here, which yeah, put this one first, this one in the middle. And then I'll have another set of three to put down here. I think those are jump up cards that I'll have eventually. So yeah, that was it for obtention. And that was pretty much all I had to put away for this video. It was kind of a lot, um, but mostly like most of it was from my Nyokyo package. Yeah, but I'm really excited about like everything that I added to my collection today. Um, I've been really looking forward to a lot of the things that I've had coming in lately. So, but yeah, with that said, that was everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.